If scuba diving places that the average person just doesn't want to go to interests you, start now by subscribing to my channel because that is exactly what I do here. What's going on everybody? My name is Jeremy, welcome to my channel. Today is going to be one heck of a workout. We are swimming probably a quarter mile downstream just to get to a bridge that I guarantee nobody's ever dove at. It is actually the I-75 interstate bridge. There are no trails to this bridge. There is no easy access at all. Let's get in the water and let's make this day happen. Here we go. Let's see what we can find. See what you found. I don't know what's this. It's a big ugly bottle. What's a how does that tag? That's pretty cool.
Okay, so I got a really good prank planned out. I have my friend here. I took toilet paper and painted it to where once it's in the water, it'll start disintegrating and get that flowy look. And then I made a crack in the top with hair coming out of it. So hopefully it looks good underwater. So hopefully he comes across it. We're gonna put it right here as he's coming up. Hopefully he'll see it. We'll weight it down with rocks. Um, fingers crossed it works this time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get him with it? You made me laugh so hard I flooded my mask. Alrighty, we're back at the house. I have a fun-filled weekend of diving. Let's check out the finds that I found for the first dive. One of the things that I did find in this video that I thought was pretty cool makes me think I might be on the spot. Check out this thing. This is actually... I don't know if it's modern or not, but it is old. Uh, it's an old plate. It's just an old piece of glass, like a broken tea set or something maybe, but it looks old and it makes me think that maybe this was a site where an old house was at. So maybe. Now I know what you guys are going to think, oh man he's got more bottles, but I did some research and you're going to love this. Too bad this one was broken, but it is a very old Dr. Pepper bottle. I think this one dates back to the 60s, but it is broken so it's pretty much worthless. I also found a Sprite bottle. This one does date back to the 60s. Really good condition, just needs a good cleaning. Found me another really good old Coke bottle. This one says Savannah on the bottom of it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But uh, no breaks, no chips. That's a really good find. This one was the find of the day though, believe it or not. Uh, this one, clear bottle, says Pepsi Cola on it. I did some research, found this online. This is 1941. This is an $80 find. So. It's just a bottle that I saw in the mud. I brought it home, did some research, and it ended up being an $80 find. That is a really good find for a relic. Uh, I'm gonna clean this one up and this is gonna go in the cabinet full of keepers. And uh, the search is gonna continue on this river. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you tune in next week. That's gonna be another amazing video. Other than that, my name is Jeremy and I will see you again.